What's up, YouTube friends? I'm Brian here with Hewitt Films, and today we are talking about more fake YouTubers on YouTube. Now, the platform is choked to death with these idiots going online hunting ghosts. I want to see some real evidence. I don't want to see these idiots going out there with their cameras. Oh my god, what was that? Oh, oh no! Oh, oh, what was that? Did you guys hear that? Did you hear the screaming? Come on. Show some real evidence. Show some real stuff. Instead of this just this bullshit that they go running around. Perfect example is this guy here. Franco TV. Right now he has 42,519 subscribers. That's a lot. And good for him. I'm not hating on him because of his subscribers or anything like that. I'm not hating on him because of that. I'm hating on him because I don't like the content that he's putting out. Because it's bullshit. This video that I watched today... Crime scene in the graveyard. Crime scene in the graveyard. So let's get into it, folks. Let's check it out and let's rip this one apart. You ready? Let's do it. Warning. The following content may contain scenes that are not suitable for some audiences. Viewer discretion is advised. Viewer discretion advised. Give me a break. What, what's, what's the discretion that you have to be advised about? Your phony shit on YouTube? It starts off just like this. Okay, the guy's in a cemetery. I'm not, we're not going to watch the whole video because I'm not going to put you guys through 30 minutes of bullshit. So he's walking around a cemetery during the day and he comes across this. Oh, shit. All right. I actually just came across something very disturbing. There is a significant amount of blood, if not fresh blood, on the floor. I don't know what that's about. But that is disturbing. Look, there's no body parts or anything, but just blood. I don't know. That is definitely blood. You can hear the mosquitoes. Here, I'm going to bring the camera closer to it. I'm not going to get close to it. Just kind of stretching it out more. The mosquitoes are very attached to this stuff. Oh. What makes me a little nervous is that I'm not sure if wherever that's from is around here somewhere. I'm thinking of all sorts of stuff and they have a caution tape further up there, Morsi. A little caution tape up there. Really, dude? Your fake blood and cranberries does not look that great. Okay, so update. That little area there, something happened. And, oh my god. Look, guys. See? Sheriff's line do not cross. There might have been a crime scene that just happened there. And what's even worse is that that area up there where you see the blood. And the thing is with that blood, is that I know about blood a little bit, because I did anatomy and physiology, I used to be a, an EMT. Um, but the thing about that blood is that it's very thick and dense blood, but it's not coming from like regular veins, it looks like it came from an artery. Let me educate you guys on crime scenes, because I've been to them, A, I've helped set them up, B, and I know how the police work. So. Once there's a crime scene and they set up the tape, you know, do not enter, they take it down after the investigation's over. They don't just leave it there for... And if it's still up, that means there's police still in the area investigating. That means don't come into the area. We're investigating. That's why the tape's there. They don't just say, okay, the crime's over with, guys, and let's go home. 
I'll just leave that tape up so, you know, people can find it because we want everyone to know that there's a crime that commit was committed on this trail. Okay, so I just did some thinking here. I went back towards my car area. I took the long route around. And I'm looking here. And this is what I'm seeing. Now, the, the blood stain area is over there. I don't really know what happened yet. I haven't checked it yet. But if you look here... You see these big scuff marks here, right? But then you see here where there's footsteps and then there's what looks like a gurney. See that trail mark? That's a gurney that usually is what's in the what's on the uh, the fire truck EMT things. You see this? This guy said he was an EMT. I was an EMT once. But he doesn't know what the damn gurney thing's called? He can't figure that out? But he was an EMT? Bullshit! And then, the gurney keeps going to about here, here, and it literally stops right to where the blood is at. Where they may have picked up the... They picked up the dead body. I think it was a dead body. I think something happened here. All right, so I'm actually going to call uh, the non-emergency number just to ask to see if they know anything about that happened um, regarding that. Um, all right, four. All right. Please be advised, all phone lines are being recorded. You have reached the Orange County Sheriff's Office law enforcement line. If you have a life-threatening emergency, hang up and dial 9. Orange County Sheriff's Office, you're being reported. This is Operator Courtney. How may I help you? Hey, Courtney. Uh, my name is Frank. I just had a quick question for you. I'm at, uh, but there's like a pool of blood on a, on a roadway. There's a, ca a caution tape, like a police line, do not cross, Sheriff. Uh, but they never covered the first entrance. Um, I don't know if you guys might want to cover the first entrance so nobody walks into that. Yeah, I know we had a, a an incident there earlier. Um, let me see if I can pull up. Yeah. Not sure if they've... Yeah, I'm also curious as to what happened. I, I'm, I'm not even from this side of town. I was just visiting the graveyard. So, okay. I guess they don't want the other entrance blocked off or anything. They don't have anybody else out there. So you should be fine. Uh, but I can't details out on, you know, what happened and everything. No, no worries, no worries. But uh, all right, cool. Um, Thank you for calling, the way. No, no, it's perfectly fine. I almost stepped in it. That was the bad part. Because <laughs> I was, I was doing a video, and then I see. Blood, I'm like, oh my god. <laughs> but alright, cool. Uh, I'm glad you guys know about it. And Alright, I I'll, I'll, I'll won't be a bother. Holy shit. Hello? Let's get inside. It just stopped. Okay, so he sees this light flickering on and off coming out of uh, one of the mausoleums. And he switches the camera on himself real quick and says, Let's check inside. So when he switched the camera, the person switching the light on and off ran out of there real quick. The person that's usually with him making these videos. And then he puts it back onto the mausoleum to show you that there's no one there. I'm going to leave it off for now and we'll see if it turns back on again. But that is freaking insane. Let's keep going. <laughs> I wanted to go on so bad. Oh my god. 
I have the funniest thing is going to turn back on again. Okay, so I've literally been waiting in this room for this light to turn on. And I was going to start filming, but it is not turning on on me. Sadly. I really wanted to get this to turn on again, but it's not working. At least while me being in here. At least while me being in here. But it's not. I'm going to walk to some of the other tombs, and then I'm going to kind of adventure to that other area. Now every time this guy goes out, every single time he makes a video, something paranormal happens in the video. Now see, this is what the kind of shit that I'm talking about. So, I mean, me and my buddy Bobby, we're going to go out to a cemetery, and we're going to record and try to get an actual, physical, real evidence. Just me and him with a camera. And we are doing some real shit. We're not going to be doing this fake shit like these people do. You know, have an extra friend that's not with you, hiding in corners, flicking on lights, and making noises so you can turn around and react to them. That's not what we're going to do. We're going to go in and we're going to actually film real shit. Guys, there is literally no wind at all. So then he finds this balloon floating, okay, and he's like, there's no air, there's no breeze going around this thing. So now he finds this balloon floating, okay, it's a balloon, it floats. When you sit there and have a balloon tied to something, guess what it does? It twirls every once in a while, it moves, even if there's no breeze. Folks, try it. Get a balloon, tie it to something, and look at it. Even if there's no breeze going by, it's still going to move. But he's fascinated about this evidence. The ghost must have pushed the balloon while he was standing there. And so, yeah, well, you guys can see me. Sorry, I'm hearing some weird stuff. This is my favorite part of the video. Check this out. Okay, Frankaholics, I'm here. This is the area where the crime scene happened at. This is where I'm a little nervous because I don't know how serious this can get. Um, from my personal experience, this is kind of dangerous, very dangerous, only because something very, very bad just happened. I'm sure you guys could put your imagination to it to, to understand what I'm trying to talk about. <laughs> And because the suspect hasn't been found, I'm hoping that he wouldn't come back to the crime scene <laughs> where it took place. Um, I doubt it, but I'm going in to explore it with you guys at night and see how this turns out. Because the suspect hasn't been found? What do you mean the suspect hasn't been found? What, do you, what, are, you, what are you talking about? How do you know that? The police didn't give you that information from your 911 call. Let's go. I have slight movement. These are where the caskets were buried. Um, the crime scene shot was further up here. The thing is about this area is that the guy who did that to the victim, which pretty much, you know, kaput, uh, I have to be careful what words I use because YouTube doesn't like certain words. Um, he hasn't been found yet. And it's actually kind of stupid of me to be coming down here by myself exploring this area. That was a car that was passing by. I just don't want to get in trouble. I mean, I, there's nothing that says I can't be down here, but I just don't want to get in trouble. Okay, I'm hearing like a scream. Listen. You hear it? Tell us 
that. Yeah, I think it's time to go. Yeah, I think it's time to go. This guy. You know, you're there to investigate the paranormal, but you're scared of the paranormal. What? So, you hear a noise, instead of investigating it, you're supposed to be investigating it, like you say you're supposed to be doing, you leave. In one of his other videos that I put on my page, he did the same thing. Well, it's time to go. After the fake chair thing with his friend moving the fishing line across the, uh, across the floor, well, it's time to go. I know bad things happen. You're there to film paranormal videos, but you're scared of the paranormal. Or you're scared of this <gasps> suspected killer that might be out in the woods that came back to the location that you made up with your caution tape. Your Well, anyone can buy that police tape. Anyone can buy that police tape. I have that police tape for filmmaking. Anyone can buy cranberries and fake blood to make a crime scene. And then he has like this... Uh, folks. Then he had like the little things. Look, guys. There's a little lines where the gurney came to pick up the dead body. And he didn't even know if it was a dead body. Because they didn't tell him there was a dead body. They didn't tell him there was that kind of a crime that was committed. They didn't tell him anything like that. And he has all this information from where? From where? And if it was a murder scene, there'd be news people there and police there. And again, they wouldn't leave the police tape up. Guys, stop watching this shit on YouTube. It's phony. They're just trying to get your money. I'm Brian Hewitt of Hewitt Films. If you like this video, leave a like. Leave a comment down below. Please subscribe to Hewitt Films, a real channel. Thank you.